this is something that Canada does not want to fall behind in. And there are concerns that there are other countries who are way ahead of us. How prepared are Canadian governments and businesses for this expected continued progression? Yeah, I think you bring up a great point. There's several levels of it. On one hand, we're celebrated around the world for our academic achievements when it comes down to innovation, particularly in artificial yeah. intelligence. But also we're in a critical place right now where we have brain drain in this country. And if we're not the leaders when it comes down to having companies in the innovation space, a lot of our talent will take some of the educational resources we have here and leave. There's that aspect and there's the political aspect. Are we, procu are we procuring, pardon me, the right amount of semiconductors and chips when it comes down to making sure that we're defending the right amount of threats that are against the right amount of threats, pardon me, that are we're vulnerable to in the future. All of this is happening at once. So we can't forget from political to professional, these aren't just tech trends that are about the latest gadget that are going to be released. This is all about how it affects our daily lives as well.